What's worse? A person who can't accept love or give it? Hey, uh, I think you got the wrong number, but uh, I appreciate it. Be cool. Oh, nice. I'm dead. That was sick! Be cool. Oh wow, is that gonna work? <laughs> it did! Thank you. Is this gonna kill? It didn't. Whoa! Oh. You fucking bitch. Nice. He was panicking. Beautiful. Fucking jab this piece of shit right in that shit eating snout. Good games, Ollie. And fuck you. Jesus Christ. I think it's about time we took a little break. What adjustments did you make to beat him? I'm not gonna tell you. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not gonna tell you. You know why? Because he's listening. But I will tell you matchup stuff because that's math. You can't argue with mathematics. Uh, so, oh, what do we gotta do? We gotta pick this guy. I'm gonna tell you the math, but I'm not gonna tell you the psychology. The psychology will spill the beans and I don't wanna spill those beans. But, great games to Ollie and I'll tell you exactly what I did in terms of matchup, mathematics. Excuse me. Okay, so, uh, what, what did I change? I'll tell you what I changed. First of all, uh, someone in the chat room told me that this doesn't work. This is the combo I usually do. You know how many times I did that against bears and thought, oh, I must have done it wrong. It just doesn't work on them. It doesn't work on bears. So someone in the chat room was kind enough to remind me that I have to adjust my combo here and do that combo. So that's one thing. Second thing I had to do against bears is to punish forward 111 with a launcher, thanks to the chat room again, with a launcher. Most important thing that changed the outcome of that match. Oh, there's another one. How do you do uh, his armor move? How do you do his armor move? That's what I wanna know. Uh, the one that goes into bear stance. How do you do that move? Back one. Okay, so another thing I realized during the fight is that back one is around minus 12. Let's get this fucking thing out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Back one is around minus 12. So for Sergey, I was doing 4-1 to punish it. Back one, I was punishing it with 4-1 on block. But then I discovered that you can go into bear stance. I don't know how. How do you go into bear stance? There we go. So if you go into bear stance at, off of this on block, okay, here we go. So we're getting info from the chat. This is minus 13 on block. But if he goes into bear stance, you can't punish it with a high or else he'll fucking launch your ass. If you try to do the normal punish for this and he goes into bear stance and your normal punish is a high or even maybe some mids will whiff, right? He's gonna launch you. So I discovered that in the middle of the match and I decided that I would start mixing him up on block. Instead of always punishing it with 4-1, uh, I'd start doing a launcher on block. So worst case scenario is he blocks my launcher, I don't get my punish, and he punishes me. Best case scenario is that I take away his concept of the mix-up in his mind, and I might score a random launcher every now and then because he's fucking up and not realizing that I'm gonna do that down forward too. So that was a big one that changed the matchup. But without question, the biggest thing that changed this matchup was being able to visually see and block Hell Sweep and how do you do the fucked up move, the one I hate? Tell me, how do you do that move? The jumping low. That low and Hell Sweep 
once I started to block those visually, not that low, not that low. Fuck this low. You can let this hit you a hundred times. In fact, half the time when this low hit me, he would do a wall standing four and I sidestepped it and launched him. This is the low. He still hit me with it, the kids game. This is the kids game he uses online against all the fucking kids after uh, they get out of social studies class. But if you can block this, and you always gotta attack after attempting the block because it has a cancel. And it can go into bear stance. But you can cancel it too, right? Oh, I think that's it. Yeah. So you gotta attack right afterwards. Forward one plus two to punish forward forward two. Yeah, that's true, but it's, yeah, I don't know. You know what that, okay. Someone in the chat room says forward forward one plus two to, okay, watch this. I'm gonna do that. I'll show you why I don't like it. So if I punish it, block it up close, that's a punish. But I know that there is a range where if you block it and try it, it whiffs. And when that happens, he loads up a twin pistons. And it's kind of hard to tell if you blocked it at that range. It's not reliable. In Okay, so in practice mode, you're, you're not using this move like a bear player. Bear players know how to use it at the perfect shallow range. So it'll whiff. I'm assuming I'm right here, but I might be wrong. Am I right? You know this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna say, okay, you're right, chat room. You're right about that. I'm gonna start punishing it with this. And I promise you, the next time I play a bear player, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get Twin Piston. I know it. I know it. 100%. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna fucking do it. I'm not gonna do it because I know that not only is, here's the problem. When that happens to me inside, in the match, when I block it and I do the forward forward two and it whiffs and I get Twin Piston, it's gonna be the end of that entire game or the next few games because I'm gonna throw a tantrum, for sure. So I don't feel like it's worth it, but I wanna replicate this. I haven't quite blocked it at the right range yet. <gasps> you see, I fucking told you, I fucking knew it. Fuck you, whoever told me to punish forward forward uh, two with a elbow. I knew it, ah, fuck. I knew it, that would have happened in a real match. That would have happened in a real match and I would have gotten fucking Twin Piston for that and lost the whole match against Ollie and gotten demoted because I listened to your fucking advice. I told you, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it, this is old shit, I knew it. Bear players place this shit so it's a shallow block and you go for your punish and it's a disaster. It's a disaster. And even if it happens one out of every 30 times, that one time is worth it to not even fucking go for it. Unless you're sure, 100%, that you were real deep. But you know, even when you're real deep, sometimes the way you block <laughs> it, the you. axis of the block, you know, like if you sidestep first and then block it, oh, I swear this is way more likely to happen than it even looks. Look at that, look at that, fuck you, whoever told me to do that. I don't really mean that, right? I don't really mean fuck you, I just mean Thanks for telling me, but no thanks. You see that? Are you are you watching this? <laughs> anyway, Thank it is you. good to remember it though. It is good to remember it. The best thing I think to do is just fucking block it. Just block it. I don't know, just block it. <laughs> or sidewalk, sidewalk's really good, but you can't sidestep this. You have to sidewalk it. You cannot sidestep it. You can sidewalk it either way, but you know, again, at the, at the right range, it's got some pretty weird tracking. But yeah, that shit, that punishes a little high risk for me in the clutch. Cause you know, naturally you're backdashing in a match. You're backdashing, and a lot of the time, that's the way this move gets blocked while you're backdashing. So it becomes a shallow hit. But anyway, thanks for telling me. I, I don't mean to tell you to go fuck yourself, but you know, it's just that I have such a open wound in my rear end uh, when it comes to bear players. I don't like them. Uh, and not just players, uh, bear enthusiasts, fans, and bears themselves. But you know, it's no big deal. 
Anyway, yeah, the thing that I changed, the biggest change was being able to block Hell Sweep and up 1 plus 2 from the stupid bears. And good games again, Ollie. This guy has really given it to me in the past. Just one victory, it's not over. He's gonna come back. After he realizes that you can't use those kids games on a grown adult, he's gonna come back more dangerous than ever. And when that happens, I'm gonna avoid playing him and I'm gonna play other games until he gets iced off. Then, I'll play him when he's not ready. I have a plan, a well laid plan is in place and it's resting securely between uh, Ollie's well laid ass cheeks. Securely in place. 